Team Claire had a really bad Christmas day, and then they had another bad surprise at home in the UK. Grumpy Dad gets two hand pays on back-to-back -back days. I know, I know, back to the old boring voice. By the way, did you like that host last week? Some people told me the person had a weird voice, but I thought it was normal. JT had a VIP table at the House of Blues at Mandalay Bay for the Super Bowl, but was it worth it? Eddie and Heather with a big jackpot on day two, and their COVID test came back negative. John found out that his mother unexpectedly passed away on Christmas Day, which was her final day in Vegas. And then all three tested positive for COVID when they returned home to Scotland. And it was a rough experience, but they are fine now. There was no vlogging at the end because the passing of John's mother. I can't imagine what Christmas Day was like or the flight home. I am very sorry for your loss, John and Team Claire. On day four, Christina and Candy get their hair and makeup done as they continue to prepare for the Kino wedding next month. And Seeking Vegas Sunrise has 777 subs. Ted eats tacos on Taco Tuesday on 2-22-22 and discovers two numbers missing at the Resorts World Elevator. Matt is still having problems with jet lag after three days, and it's Buffalo time. Not the slot machine, but the Buffalo Sabres playing the Golden Knights. Grumpy doesn't like the area in front of Planet Hollywood and Paris anymore because all of the sales pitches and characters. Day two of the Bachelor and Bachelorette weekend and Kino Kid with a big day playing Kino. They went to see the Carrot Top show with Seeking Vegas Sunrise and they meet Born to Vegas. Jason and Kaylee had lunch, drinks, and did some gambling with Nikki and Claire. Kaylee always wants Jason in the slot machine seat when she goes for the bonus. Matt goes 24 years without a hand pay, and now he gets his second hand pay in as many days. This was at Cosmo. He also felt out of place at a restaurant. This is floor number 21, room 21, at Circa, and it's a king room. Heather has realized after staying at Circa that she likes downtown more than the Strip, at least for now. They had a $5 Super Bowl bet that paid $25,000 if the score was 5-5 to -5 after one quarter. Kevin did not have a good day playing poker. He lost what would be a condo payment in some parts of the country. Vegas Mike tells a cautionary table to Callie about dating, and it started with Tinder. Mandy and Chad keynote the keynotes, but it was not easy. Michelle and Joe discovered two smiley faces with arrows on the sidewalk in downtown, but where are they pointing to? Ken surprises Joe with a birthday cake at Wolfgang's Cut Restaurant at Palazzo. Opening March 2nd. Call for reservations now. Ninth Island talks about safety tips. Mark goes to the wheel of misfortune. Jacob talks about 15 happy hour specials in Summerlin. Tim reacts to Norma going on a date with a subscriber. Steve and Matt talk to Russell Fox, who is one of the nation's leading experts on gambling taxes. Russell says that he has never heard of a small-time gambler getting busted for not paying their gambling income taxes. But it could come up in an audit where something else leads to it. Norma with the ultimate guide to Las Vegas for first-timers or for people who will only come once in their life. Nikki Furmish does a Q&A about the first trip back to Vegas, and the next trip will be on July 9th for 11 days. Ruby with a March news update. 
This week, Gambling Granny is in Vegas and will be filming at a blackjack table at El Cortez. And details on Granny Fest will be announced this week. This Wednesday will be the 500th episode of Vegas Tips and Tricks. And JR will try to do something special like go to the auto parts store. John finishes his six-part series talking about the entertainment aspects of Vegas, which includes more things than just the shows. Beginning summer 1997, you're invited to engage your senses, transport your spirit, and boldly go where no one has gone before. The 24th century is coming to the Las Vegas Hilton. In conjunction with Paramount Parks, construction has begun on the galaxy's most exciting destination. Star Trek, the experience. For the first time, you will actually be able to see, feel, touch, and live the 24th century world of Star Trek, the most popular space adventure ever created. Beaming aboard the bridge of the Enterprise, you'll embark on an adventure through space and through time. On board a Starfleet shuttlecraft, you'll become a part of the warp speed action. Your destination is the alien-built outpost Deep Space Nine. There, the fun continues on the promenade with the galaxy's finest dining, a universe of shopping for every taste and your chance to enjoy tomorrow's most amazing games today. Make your plans to be among the first in the galaxy to beam up to 24th century adventure. Star Trek, the experience. Only at the Las Vegas Hilton. Stardate, summer 1997. Here are all the active Vegas vloggers with at least 100 subs and the date when they posted their first Vegas vlog. Here are the vlogger events. Kino Kid and Kino Candy will be collaborating for life starting on March 19th. There is a small chance of rain in the coming days. And here are the monthly averages for Vegas.